I love all these TikToks. What do women bring to the table? I don't know. Maybe the ability to carry life into this world and literally carry your child for nine months. Just a little, just a little fact that we do. Nothing big. Anyways, have a great day, everyone. Yes, you can. But that's not the best case until you can do it on your own without my help. Also, I don't want you to do that just in case. What else do you have? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Modern women are doomed. A new group of guys are going their separate ways. Let's get started right away. Perfect man does exist, and we're gonna build him. Okay, let's see. Would I rather have a hardworking man or a confident man? Ugh, what? How am I gonna pick? Uh, oh, okay, guess hardworking. Crazy or affectionate? Affectionate. Crazy is too much. I'm crazy. You can't be crazy too. Persistent or cheer cheerful? Persistent. Cheerful or cute? You gotta be cute. Responsible or Ugh. Listen, creativity is really important, so I'm gonna say artistic. Relaxed or passionate? Passionate. Enthusiastic or admirable? Mm. Persuasive or lo loving? Affectionate or hardworking? Hardworking. Persistent or cute? Persistent. Cute. Bare minimum. <laughs> artistic or passionate? I feel like if you're artistic, you can be passionate about your art, so I'm gonna say artistic. Um, enthusiastic or loving? Loving. Persistent or hardworking? Those are kind of similar, so I'm gonna just say hardworking. Um, artistic or loving? What's the point of being artistic if you don't even love me? Like, are you even the per- What? Hardworking or loving? Like, without love, there's no relationship, so... I guess. This is giving bare minimum, but... Hopefully he has all the traits that I picked. Don't know where he's at, though, so if y'all find him, let me know. For those who don't know, working hard means making six figures. Women used to be content with a man who worked hard and made an average salary. She was happy with that, and you can see that she valued hard work just as much as confidence. The hard work trait was something she chose by chance. Also, what does it mean to be confident? A class A player and a girl's man. I think Ray Ray and Pookie, who might or might not be poor, would get her attention more quickly than Carl the accountant. Carl works hard, but he doesn't have any fun. They both think he's stupid and she chose enthusiastic over responsible, which is something Chad and Tyrone both did. Because she chose looks over happiness, he can be both good-looking and dangerous. As long as he's over six feet, she doesn't mind. She even says that's the very least you should do to date her. This is the reason she's not with anyone. She has a Tyrone connection. If you want to be my boy, <laughs> my boyfriend, you have to ask. For example, the guy that I am now dating, I can call him my boyfriend because he asked me. We were dating for a few months and we had said I love you and everything, but we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend yet. We just hadn't had that conversation, which was fine. It was fine. <laughs> and then randomly one day he's talking and he says, my girlfriend. And I said, who are you talking about? Because it's not me. You haven't asked me to be your girlfriend. And he's like, oh, I have been calling you my girlfriend for months. Like, I thought you were my girlfriend. And I was like, secretly, I've been calling you my boyfriend. But we're not yet. It's not official. Like I just said, the word official. When people are like, oh, are they official? They mean, are they boyfriend and girlfriend? If that is an official thing, it needs an official asking. So of course I was dramatic and I was like, oh, what do you mean you haven't gotten down on one knee and proposed the girlfriend miss the girlfriend trip i was like where's the white horse and carriage and you proclaiming me to the world as your girlfriend <laughs> as you asked for my hand but really i was just trying to make the point that like that's a privilege to be someone's boyfriend or girlfriend so you need to ask i told him i'm committed to you and i've been committed to you i just want that to be a big deal and i want us to make it a big deal also that's just something about me is i like to make things a big deal in a relationship i think that's really healthy to make like small things even though this isn't a small thing a big deal it's so much more fun in a relationship when you make big deals out of things big deals out of things who knows i don't really care because all i could think about was that poor guy you both said i love you but it didn't matter because he never asked you i also have to say that i believe you you want everything to be a big deal I'm not sure how big of a deal you want to make your wedding. Three, four, or five hundred people. Big wedding that will cost a lot of money and leave your future husband broke. Yes, because you won't have it any other way, right? Some women would give anything to be in your place, but you don't even know how lucky you are. I'm 
just sitting here thinking, wow, that nursing home really fucking fired me. Because those bitches were watching my adult entertainment on the clock while I was actually in a patient's room doing my job. But you know what? Karma comes fucking back around. In a word to my motherfucking favor, although I got fired because of it, I got a settlement and my job back. Meanwhile, those bitches who are watching my shit on the clock while their lights were on from patients, they all lost their jobs and their license. And on top of that, ever since I was on the news for it and articles and all over fucking everywhere because of it, ever since then, I've been making a nurse's salary in a week and a half or less. And it has been a year since I got fired. So think about that. I have made that consistently. Each week, a nurse's salary. And I really hope you bitches are sick about it. I really do. As soon as Batman saw her in the news, he told all the Sims to help this Decepticon level up. She's an OF star. It gave her extra power. It sounds like she's making enough money as a nurse to not need a job anymore. I think her pay is about 70000 a year, but that's over $3 million a year. There are 52 weeks in a year, so increase that number by 52. On top of that, she got a settlement. Her co-workers, the Decepticons, destroyed themselves because women today hate each other. This is the funniest part of the story. They're always going against each other. The best thing about MG Tao is that the Decepticons only have each other to destroy. Sadly, they also sent a professional bed wench with power to become stronger. See what people have said. It's mostly simps giving her gas. Keep yourself safe and strong. Thank you. They were only angry. Baby, you are great. Keep living your life and you look like a new dad. You look so damn beautiful. Do you know what cracks me up, right? <laughs> you know when someone's married? And they're talking about their partner and they'd refer to them obviously as like my husband and my wife whatever i feel like they're bragging <laughs> i feel like that's it's unnecessary like the showing off it's not unnecessary you have every right that is your husband that is your wife and they're like yeah like oh i went out for dinner with my husband or like in a restaurant they're like, oh yeah my husband's just running late whatever it's like all right got to tell everyone you're married that it it's literally normal, like you're not going to call me your boyfriend or girlfriend. But it cracks me up. <laughs> my husband. My husband and I. All right! Yes. Okay, girls. Please stop calling your husband husband. It's making this poor woman mad. If not, wait until she does. Then it's okay. You could always say that John and I had dinner together. If she asks, who is John? I don't know. Maybe change the subject and come up with a good reason. I am 52 years old today. This is 52. I turned off the filters. I'm outside. I am on my patio in the sun, but there are no filters. This is 52. All of it, imperfections. Got a little bit more of the lines, the wrinkles, skin is not perfect. A little more wrinkles around the neck, right? This is 52. 52 in the dating scene is hard. It is hard. Um, there, we're constantly taking a look around and looking at the younger girls. But being 52 out there in the dating scene is, it's scary, it's messy, it's complicated. Um, all of those things, but I don't really think it's probably that much different than what the younger people are going through. 47 years old, after 25 years married, I found myself divorced. You guys, I thought it was over. I remember sitting on my floor just crying, saying, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm too old to do this again. I'm too old now to fall in love and find the love of my life because how much time are we going to have left? right? Now, some of you are going to say 47 is so young, but to me, it felt like life was over. And to be honest with you, even into my 50s, I bought my own house. My kids went off, went off to college when I was 50. And then one day I happened to be looking across the bar and saw a guy and I asked my friends, who is that? And they said, we don't know, but we'll find out. Right now, I can tell you that for the first time in my life since my divorce, I feel alive again. 
And it has really made me realize that I'm 52 now and I feel great. I'm out having fun. I'm dancing, I'm dating, I'm singing, I'm playing, I'm traveling. I'm doing all those things and I have freedom to do it. Well, I've been honest about the dating journey up until now, so why change? So the guy I've been dating with, dating for eight months just came over and broke up with me. Honestly, I'm gonna say that I knew it was coming. I mean, we've, we've had some ons and offs and aren't really compatible in the long run. That doesn't mean it hurts any less. After eight months, that's a long time. The hardest thing for me is that he just committed like three weeks ago and told me that he considers me his girlfriend and has told everybody else. And so what did I do? I put him right back on Facebook and prayed at him in front of everybody. <sighs> like, here's my guy. I had the time of my life this year. And when I met him in March, I came back to life. I got my confidence back. I played, I laughed. I, I did, I camped, I ate sushi. <laughs> I did things I've never done before. I ran barefoot through the sprinklers and into the cold waters camping and peed behind a tree. <laughs> All the things that I swore I'd never do. I don't have any regrets at all. After meeting for eight months, this double post wall divorcee finally gets engaged, but she messes it up in three weeks. I keep telling you, you can't make this stuff up. It seemed like she admired this man because she went all out with him on Facebook to show everyone that she was dating him and said she was happier with him than when she was single. It was like she was living her life all over again. Why? because a man she looked up to made her feel good about herself. This shows again that women can't love themselves or be truly happy unless they're loved by a guy they want. And this man is either nice or has choices. He broke up with her after three weeks, even though they had been dating for eight months, spending a lot of time together, and finally making a promise to be together. For this reason, you should make women earn your love. Not in a month, but over the course of almost a year, she needs to care about you and put money into you. If not, you'd just be a stopgap or stepping stone until the next swing. Also, Dick, I don't think you should spend your time and money on a relationship with a modern woman. The Passport Pro Choice is much better. To let people know you like the show, click the like button. If you click the bell, you'll know when I add new pictures. Thanks for everything you've done. Do something right away. Check out more videos of people hitting walls by coming back to this page.